you once again my friends in Facebook land Baxter Cribs here with you once again coming to you kind of late again today it's been a busy day things got off to uh, got changed around and anyway had a quite a busy day having to reschedule everything and start over and get some things done but here's something that happened throughout my day as I go through my days I try to listen to things in my on my phone. If I'm driving, I put it on. If I'm in a different truck, I have one with a CD player in it where I have different things going on. When I'm down at the track trying to do my workout or cutting grass, then I have my earphones on and then I pick up a book. And all those things happened today as I was in different sections of my life and doing different things. And one thing kept coming up in every one that I picked up from different ones, from Dan Kennedy, from Ray Higdon, from Brandon Burchard, um, and from, uh, I don't forgot the other guy's name now, so I knew when I just started listening to. Anyway, all these things came up, and it was bits and pieces here and there, and I thought, okay, this must be something that a lot of people faces trouble with. And as soon as I began to work on it, then, of course, it affected me as well. And so it says it affects everybody. And the, the, the idea is, and I want to use mostly some of from the book from Brandon Bouchard. He's got his, and I hope I'm pronouncing his name correctly, The Motivation Manifesto. Had it for some time, been reading it off and on here and there, little different pieces. And whenever I read those other things or heard about doubt today, I had to back up in the book and get that and, and see what he had to say again. Because when I first came across him, I liked the way he described it then. And so I wanted to share that with you this evening, just a short part of it. Hopefully I can keep this short. Sometimes I tend to ramble, um, trying to make sure I cover all the points that I want to cover or that it just pops into my head as I go along. But as you can see here on the board, I have the word defiance. I'm trying to hide a little light up here that keeps, i got to figure out a way to get that done. And hopefully you can read my writing. I've wrote the stuff backwards <laughs> before we started so that we could, you know, so you could read the writing in the right direction. I hope that I've gotten that right. But anyway, he describes that there is, and we use, he uses mythology a little bit because it's something that a lot of people are familiar with. And I want to draw for you here just a stick figure. I'm not no artist by no means. But he describes the word, you see the word defiance here up here, as being the major thing that, that, stops us from doing anything it defies us that you says you can't do this okay you cannot do this and so what he describes that as we've seen this in mythology and it's like I said a stick person a stick people is a serpent that has three heads to it you know and it, it looks more like a flower than it does a serpent but you get the idea so he names these three heads or three parts of this one creature the one creature is called defiance, okay? But each head has a different has a different name, a different job, if you will. It comes on. And so the first thing we want to talk about here today, whichever one you want to make that, that doesn't matter to me. We've got some more to cover later. Is doubt. D-O-U-B-T. Doubt. Doubt comes into our lives constantly. I mean, it's just always there. Uh, when I started doing this and putting this together, I had doubts that I could do it. Uh, I didn't doubt that I couldn't mess it up real good, but, you know, that's a different kind of doubt. And so we have a lot of doubts in ourselves. And the idea of what doubt does, its main job, as you see here as I got here, it says, is to worry ourselves sick. That's what it does. Worries ourselves sick. In other words, doubt, kind of like the ear, he describes it in his book as a person who comes to you and they just want to lend, they just want to lean on your ear and they tell you all their worries and all their problems and all this here. And you go, you know what, I think I want to start going to the gym. I think I want to start a new business. And all of a sudden, doubt comes up and says, well, you know, you can't do that. And here's why. And it begins to give you reasons, you know, well, you're going to look funny. You don't have gym clothes. You don't have this. And I'm using mostly workout expressions because that's kind of what I'm focused on at the last two videos that I've done. And, and several of them is our health. We want to get our health and we want to get our health and keep it that way. And so I was at the track this evening very late trying to make sure I got mine in to keep my health up. 
and as I had already heard these things, and seeing the different people walking around and the different sizes and shapes and the things that they were doing is they were overcoming doubt. They were out there trying to get themselves in better shape to live longer, to have better lives and to enjoy life more. And so they had overcome that, or at least today they did. Now tomorrow, doubt might show up again and say, okay, don't go back out there today. Remember what happened yesterday. And, and it kind of gets you over that. And so doubt, asks, doubt brings into our mind questions, negative thoughts and questions that come from other people or just in, from ourselves if we have, are in our own head too much, okay? And we can get there pretty easy. <laughs> and so some of the things it says, and I want to read some of this to you just very quickly, some of the questions that he poses that doubt makes you ask yourself or does ask you. And he said, it says, ask you, it says, I'm not sure if it's time to quit my job. I'm not, maybe it's not the right time to move to a place I might love better. See how doubt comes about? And if you, he says, uh, the next one he says, she'll probably say no if I ask her out on a date. I don't think it's the right time for whatever means, okay? And this is the idea that doubt does. It, it brings up a bunch of questions in our mind that makes you doubt you can do what you know is possible and what you know that you can do as well. And so he gives a list of other questions here just to, and just to start off with one question that it brings about in our life. And that is, as we have here right here, is I'm not sure. We talked about it in a moment. I'm not sure if all these things could happen. But the next one, what if? Oh my, we ask so many questions. Well, or other people ask us so many questions you know, in our life. Well, here we go. What if it doesn't work out? What if? I can't handle it. What if I'm not good enough when I take this new position, when I step out on my own, when I go into the gym with all those people that's been there for 25 years or 10 years or 2 years? What if all these things there? What if they don't like me when I'm down there? What if I lose? What if I can't turn back? See, we're trying to doubt brings about those things that makes us worry ourselves sick about circumstances that we can overcome but it brings it to our head this is its job and so we end up here in defiance it's bringing and that's what its job is to do is to defy you your moving ahead in life your having a better life and getting to be uh, um, more prosperous and healthier and, and to work with other people and to improve your life so you can improve theirs Defiance is keeping you down. It's like, as I've said in the past, weeds in the garden that automatically grow if you do nothing to keep the weeds out. And doubt is one of the seeds, one of the means that defiance uses to keep you down there. What if they take advantage of me? You know, we hate to lose, we hate to be used. And so all these are questions that are brought about in our mind. Now, how do we overcome doubt? And this is a very short thing here. He has about five pages about it. And other people have 30 minutes in their speaking and so forth. And so I'm certainly not going to cover everything. But one thing that is the first thing that comes about of how we can beat defiance, how we can beat doubt, is something that I've certainly already talked about before one time in another lesson that we've done over here. Let's see, where can I write this out? Maybe right here, if I can write this here backwards here for us. And that is faith. Let me get over here. Faith. Faith is having knowledge. Faith is not just believing something out there, you know, off without any kind of proof. Having faith in something is knowing that you have some facts that you're based on. If you go to Hebrews, if you go, if you read the scriptures at all, and you go to Hebrews chapter one, uh, chapter eleven, verse one, and down in verse thirteen again, it talks about those two things: the evidence of things not seen. There is evidence that makes you have faith of something that, that you can't see, but it's there. You've seen the facts of it, and that makes you say you can do that. 
down in verse 13, it says, it gives the example of people said that they seen these things afar off, and they were persuaded of them, and therefore they move forward. That's what faith is, my friends. And faith, having faith in your life, can help you to move forward in the health field. Having faith that you can go out and you can do one repetition. You can do five minutes of walking. You can do one lap of walking. You can do 15. It depends on your level. Wherever it is, have faith that you can do whatever it is where you're at. You don't have to compare yourself to other people, and that's called comparitis, uh, if I pronounce that correctly. But, you know, you, you, if I've been doing this thing for 40 years, you know, or somewhere in that area, you're not going to be able, if this is your first day, you're not going to be able to do the things that I do. And you're not supposed to. You're supposed to start off with one step, two step, three steps, and build your way up. You make that start, though, that you can do it. You get past the doubt. You know, because, see, if one of the things that I, that I do, people go down there and they're in their gym clothes and they're in their, their tight shorts and all these things that they've spent a bunch of money on to go and work out. Today I went down there in shirts just like this and a pair of regular pants. And that's what I do all the time because I'm always in the area working, doing something else, and I go by the track in that case. In that, in that dress. I don't have to have all this here fancy stuff on to go and work out. As long as I can move in my clothes, then go work out. Use what you have where you're at. Have the faith that you can get through those things. Overcome the seed of doubt that stops you from being healthy and, and, and stops you from enjoying your life and have, being healthy to be there for your children and your grandchildren or whatever it may be that you have in your life. Doubt and works through, or defiance works through that one little seed of doubt, and it worries you sick, my friends. And we don't need that in our life. You need to overcome that by having faith. Look at the facts. If others have done it, this is the true thing. Get out there and put it to work. Test it. Try it. Prove it. You will overcome it by faith. My friends, that's it for this evening. I just don't want to bring that to you because it kept coming kept up, up in my readings and listenings today as I was trying to, to travel and do the things that I had to do and trying to keep my mindset going because we all need mindset. And doubt is so sly. It's like a slippery, slimy eel. It just slides right in there, gives you that sick feeling to your stomach and says, you can't do that. You're going to fail. You're not, go you're not good enough. And all the things that we talked about, Doubt puts that little seed that stops you from moving ahead in life. Overcome it, my friends, with faith. Have the faith. We're looking at the facts. If others did it, you can too. That's always a fact. <laughs> my friends, this is a wrap for this evening. If you found value in this, please comment below or share it with other people also if you think that they could use this as well. And then, my friends, we will see you tomorrow night. Thank you.